Today I wanted to do things a little different. I wanted to let you know what I've been up to since the marathon and also give you an update on the movie that I'm working on. Since I put up the video of the Rome Marathon, I've been getting a lot of questions from everybody. So I figured I'd make a little uh, Q&A video for you. But uh, first, a little behind the scenes of the new movie. I'm off running again. It's the first run since the marathon. Uh, the marathon was on Sunday, today is Saturday, so it's been six days of not running. Uh, I'm not actually doing a proper run, because if you watch my, uh, my last video before the marathon, I mentioned uh, the film I'm making. That's happening today. I'm actually on my way to the set to where we're filming, which happens to be where I normally run. And since part of the film is me running, shooting for the film has started for me. I'm just doing this in between. <laughs> I, yeah, look, yeah, look good. Yeah. That's funny, just ran into one of the actors for the film. <laughs> He's a bit early. I'm early because I uh, wanted to check out a couple of the spots that we need to film at before I meet up with everybody. I guess I have to hurry then. Okay, I'm almost at the spot where I'm supposed to meet everybody in half an hour. I can already feel the back of my legs like I did in Rome. And it's only been almost 3K. I wanna check out the, the spots where you have to film. So I kinda of have to hurry, because it's uh, a little bit further away. Okay, so I thought we could run through here. I guess not. There's water here. Good thing I find that now, and not when everybody else is with me. Bad location scouting. Haha, <laughs> 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 a bridge. I don't want to give away too much of what the film's going to be about because I know people are going to come to the festival that watch this vlog. I just want everyone to come to the festival and see the film. But uh, yeah, you get the idea. It's about me running. <laughs> we need to film I hope uh, I have eight minutes to get back it's not that far anymore so uh, we can get started there are way too many people around today the weather is actually a lot nicer than it's been so everybody's coming out to run and walk their dogs I've never seen this many people run here Except maybe uh, the last day of the year, last year, when I was running then, I mentioned in my video, there were a lot of people out. I 
think there's more people out now. Why today? Got everyone together to film. So let's get started. Take one. So since I posted the Rome Marathon video, I've been getting a lot of questions from everybody. A lot of the questions that I'm getting is for the Adidas uh, Sub 2s. Uh, I did a review on this. If you haven't seen it, check the description down below. I'll uh, put a link there for the video. People were asking if the Sub 2s were good for running the marathon. I think they really were. They were really light and very comfortable. You hardly notice that you have shoes on, really. So, yeah, if you're, if you're running such a long distance, then having something light on your feet really helps. Uh, as to running a, a faster speed during the race, I, I can't really tell. Uh, maybe they helped, maybe they didn't. I, I have no idea what I would have run if I would have worn my uh, Ultra Boost or my Nike Zooms. So there's no way to tell if they actually made me faster. But they're lighter, they were comfortable, they were supportive. So yeah, they were great for running the marathon. There's still the question if the Sub 2s will actually last a long time or not. Since that video is out there, uh, Somebody who claims to be from Adidas saying that uh, the shoes will only last four marathons. Um, I've contacted Adidas in the Netherlands. They got back to me and said they hadn't heard anything about that. And the shoes have a two-year warranty, so should be fine. Uh, Adidas in the States, they got back to me and told me um, we really like Ultra Boost to run on, and these are race shoes. Okay, I don't know what that means, so I got back to them. They didn't reply. I sent them another email uh, last week, and for some reason, they're not getting back to me anymore. So, uh, I don't know what to tell you. For now, I'm, I'm still waiting for a reply from Adidas on, on that issue. So, how's my foot doing? My foot's doing okay, actually. Uh, the day... Of the marathon we still walked a lot around Rome and I could really feel my foot that day but the day after it was a lot less I could still feel it a little bit but there was not a lot of pain there and ever ever since then it was fine on the run uh, on Saturday where that you just saw when we did the film shoot there was a lot of running and stopping running and stopping running and stopping and that went on for hours so after that my foot really hurt and it felt like maybe there still is something wrong with it but the physiotherapist told me that after marathon i should rest it and that's what i'm doing i'm not doing the exercises i'm not running as much so hopefully this week i will start my exercises a little bit and then slowly build it up again to hopefully being able to run the distances that I want to run soon. One of the questions is, what are you doing for marathon recovery? Um, rest. <laughs> a lot of rest. Uh, first of all, uh, if you're doing a long race like that, you, you want to sleep. You want to get some rest. Uh, your, your body's gone through a lot, so you need sleep to have your body just not do anything else besides rest. Uh, Besides that, when you are when you are awake, you don't want to do too much. But you also don't want to get your muscles tightened up by not doing anything. So you have to find something in between where you can like walk around but not be too active. In a couple of days, if you're up to it, then go for a short run. It'll get your blood flowing uh, through your muscles and it'll take care of that soreness that you still have or might have. Um, I had a lot of soreness after the race because, yeah, my training was just not sufficient for the marathon. I, uh, because of my injury, my longest run was half a marathon and this was twice as much. It was, it was painful. So I, I would not recommend running a marathon without training. Uh, I did some training, but 
not as much as I would have liked. Another good thing for recovery is massages. I'm not really big on massages, but I bought this machine, the BFF, the BFF Pro. It's a uh, kind of a body buffer. Uh, I bought it at the expo at the Walt Disney World uh, Marathon. I was endorsed by uh, Jeff Galloway and they had a whole, whole stand where you could test them. And I must say, I, I really like it. <laughs> this is what it looks like. It's, it's like a buffer, but for your body. So. Okay, the only thing is, uh, when we bought it, we asked people at the stand if uh, it would be a problem to use it in Europe. And they said, oh, no, it's not a problem. Just get a little adapter for the socket and you should be fine. And we got home and, of course, we have two 20 volts here instead of 110. And the thing just went berserk. So you need a converter. But once you have the converter, it works fine. Another good thing for recovery if you want to do something, but, yeah, you're just not up to running yet, uh, Try cross training. Get on a, a bike. Uh, it's it's a lot easier. A uh, lot less strain on the muscles, uh, on the joints. So yeah, it, it gets you exercising, but uh, it doesn't hurt as much as uh, when you go running. So what other races am I doing? People are asking me. Um, if you watch my other videos, the urban trail runs that I'm doing, uh, I'm still doing those. There's I've done three. There's ten all together this year. Uh, so I have seven more to go. There's one next weekend in Leeuwarden and two weeks from that is Rotterdam, so I'm doing that one as well. And then I'm halfway. Um, for longer races, the first one that I'll be preparing for is the 36k challenge in Disneyland Paris, which is the three races, 5k, 10k and half marathon, three days in a row. Um, my next marathon, I am considering maybe going to Athens for the Athens Marathon. That is the marathon of all marathons, really, because it's from Marathon to Athens. I was thinking maybe like the, the one that I did in Rome, you see all the sites and everything, but I looked at the course in Athens and it looks like there's a lot of highway running and it might be a bit of a boring course. So I asked my friend, uh, Michael Gabriel, who does the podcast, uh, Run the Small World, that I've been a guest on before, because uh, he actually ran the Athens Marathon and he told me that yeah the, the first bit of the marathon is kind of boring because there's a lot of just highway running but once you get into Athens there's a lot of people around and uh, yeah the sites of Athens are, are really nice uh, and the last 10k to race are a lot of fun and uh, a lot easier to get through so I'm, I'm considering doing that one I'm, I'm not sure yet I haven't decided yet so we'll, we'll see next year uh, 2019 I will be running the South African uh, Big Five Marathon which is gonna be amazing I'm looking forward to that one a lot because you get to run through a park where there's giraffes, zebras, lions so yeah uh, I'm looking forward to that one that that's gonna be my my next big race that I'm really looking forward to for some reason a couple of people asked me about my bit boards they've uh, noticed in the videos uh, that I connect m connect something to my uh, my bibs instead of using the the pins. Um, these are the bib boards. I got these uh, when I was running the marathon in uh, Disney World from Run Disney. They're really easy to use. They just clip on one side of your shirt and the other bib in between, and then just clip them. There, it's really easy, and they they stay on and they don't wreck your shirt. I normally use magnets which I actually prefer probably, but uh, I lost one of my magnets on, I don't know, one of my runs in January, and I still haven't gotten new ones. So I've been, I've been using these and they work fine as well. So if you wanna get them, uh, there are all kinds, kinds of bit boards online that you can order, you can even make your own designs on them. So check it out. Okay, so that's it for all the questions today. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask me, leave me a comment, send me a message, I'll be happy to answer all your questions. Um, make sure you subscribe to the channel so I can keep you posted when the next videos are up and you can follow all the races and of course my 36K challenge training that I'll be starting next month.
Also make sure you check out my Facebook page. There's uh, some extra information on there. I post pictures there as well. So uh, check that out. And until next time, get out there and run.